Hello, welcome to the Blue Cloud Support Series. My name is Cameron, and today we're going to look at how to log in and use some common features on the Bria Enterprise application for desktop. So this works on PC and Mac, and today I'll be showing you the PC version. If you have a Mac version, it'll work just as well. It might just look a little different. Okay, so once you've downloaded the application and installed it, go ahead and open it up and it'll bring you to the login screen. So on the login screen, you'll enter your username and password as provided to you by Blue Cloud. And please note that the username and password are both case sensitive. And after you've entered those, uh, you can leave these two checked if you'd like, so it'll remember your sign-in information. And also, the second one is really nice to sign in automatically. So when you start up your computer, uh, it'll also open Bria and sign in, so you're ready to go. And I'm going to leave this unchecked for now. And I'll click sign in, and we'll let it load up. And you'll see it'll go through the startup process. And once you see all accounts are enabled, you are good to go. So if you have one green icon here, that's great. Okay, first things first, we need to make sure that the hardware is going to work with the program. So on the program, we'll click on Soft Phone and Preferences. And then over here on the side, we'll click on Devices. So if you have multiple speakers or multiple microphones hooked up, your computer needs to know which ones to use. So we're going to select for our speaker, we're going to use my headset, and for microphone, we'll also use my headset. And we'll click OK. OK, and our hardware is set up, we're good to go. Let's make our first call. So on the dial pad, you can enter numbers by either using the keyboard or using the mouse. So I'm going to click on the number and I'm going to dial blue cloud and we're going to click the green call button. Welcome to Blue Cloud Communications. Okay, and I'm going the to put the call on mute so that you can PBX hear me. So by clicking on this we can put the, uh, the call on mute so that we cannot hear the other person. If we want to make the call louder we'll just slide up to the right. If you are a preferred vendor and or calling to, to inquire quieter, about becoming a preferred vendor, the left. press three. And I'm going to go all the way so that we have it muted so you can hear me. Okay, wonderful. So right here is our current call. And you can see we have a couple buttons here that are new, and we also have this green icon. So this green icon is your call quality, and it depends on your network. So this, this application uses your internet to make calls. So in order to make sure that you have good call, call quality, you can either have a wired connection and make sure you're plugged up directly to your router, or if you have Wi-Fi, make sure that you're close to the router. That way you can ensure good call quality. Okay, so on the, on the current call, you can see how long it's been. Uh, if you need to pull up the keypad, uh, you can do so here. So if you need to enter, like, press 1 for sales on an auto attendant, you would do that here. So you would press 1 and hit enter. These buttons right here, you'll see we have a mute the microphone. So this is our microphone. If we want to mute ourselves and ask a coworker. And unmute the microphone, and they can hear us again. Uh, the next button that we have is this pause button. This will put the call on hold. So once they're on hold, they will hear your hold music that you have set for your account. When you're ready to remove them off hold, you'll just click it again. So on hold. And the play button appears, and you can click the play button to resume the call. Uh, when we're ready to end the call, we can click this one here and to end the call. And let's look at transferring. So how do we transfer to other numbers? So there's a few types of transfer. We have ask to transfer, we have a blind transfer, and we have a variation of that, which I'll show you. So to ask to transfer, 
this one is used if you want to see if your coworker is busy or not. So if you're not sure and you'd like to see if they're available. So in order to do that, we will click the transfer button. We will enter either a telephone number or an extension for them. And we'll, we'll need to change uh, what pops up. It'll say transfer now. We'll want to change that to say call first. So when it says call first, that means you're going to call your coworker first, and the call will go to them first. This caller will be placed on hold, and you can talk to your coworker and see if they're available. If they're available, you can click the Transfer Now button. So we're going to transfer this caller to extension 123. And so we're going to call first, transfer. Oh, hello. And you'll see a transfer now button appear. Now you'll notice that didn't appear. That's because 123 is not a real extension in our account. Okay, and normally you will see it appear. Um, let's see, actually I can show you that. Okay, and so we're back to the screen. You'll notice that the call, the original call, was transferred over to extension 102. Next, we're going to do the blind transfer. So the blind transfer, you just send it over to your coworker whether or not they're available. So in order to do that, let's get on the phone with our friend first at Blue Cloud. So we'll call them. Now you'll notice because we've dialed them already, it'll appear this time, so we can click on that. Communications, the okay. leading oh, provider hello, of hosted okay. PBX oh, you phone want to talk services. To if you Susie? know your party's okay. extension, you may dial. I'm going to put this on mute so you can hear me. So we're going to transfer directly. This is a blind transfer, so we'll click this and click enter the extension or telephone number and click transfer now. And when you see transfer succeeded, that means that the call has been sent directly to that person's extension. Now we have a variation of the blind transfer, and that is to send the call directly to that person's voicemail. So let's say that you know the person's not in and uh, you receive a call and you ask the caller, oh, would you like to leave a message for them? I can transfer you and they say yes. So we'll transfer directly to voicemail. So let's get on the phone first with our caller. Okay, and let's call, we're calling. So we're on, on the phone with our friend at Blue Cloud. Welcome to Blue Cloud. I'm putting them on mute too, so you can hear me. Okay, so for blind transfer, same, same as the blind transfer, uh, but we're gonna go directly to voicemail. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dial star nine and then the extension for Sally, which is 102. Uh, and then we'll click transfer now. So again, extension, star nine, and then the extension, beep, 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 102, and then click transfer now. And that'll send this caller to Sally's voicemail. Okay, and now that person is now in Sally's voicemail and they are leaving a message. Okay, hmm, what about our voicemail? Well, let's check it. Okay, so to check your voicemail, you can click on the upside down binoculars button here, and it'll take you to your voicemail. You have no messages. Press 2 to change folder. Okay, we don't have any messages, but you can just follow the prompts to listen to the messages, delete the messages, etc. Okay, we're going to end this call. Next, let's look at how to update your voicemail message. So let's say you want to change your unavailable greeting. In order to do that, you'll go to your voicemail. So click on the voicemail button and then you'll press zero for more mailbox options. And then you'll just follow the prompts from there. 
and it'll tell you press one to record your unavailable greeting. So voicemail button. You have no messages. Press two press to zero. change folders. Press three for advanced options. Press zero for mailbox options. Mailbox options. Press, press one to record your unavailable message. Press two to record your and you'll press 1 to record your unavailable message, and you'll just follow the prompts from there to get it saved and uploaded into your account. Okay, next up we have call forwarding. So in order to do call forwarding, you'll dial star 72, the number you'd like you, the calls from your extension to go to, and then you'll click call. And we're going to forward to Blue Cloud. Okay, so we dial the star 72 plus the number and then click call. Call forwarding. Okay, so call forwarding is now active. And in order to remove call forwarding, we'll click star 72. That way the calls can come back to us. And then click call. Call forward canceled. Okay, so you heard it. It says call forward canceled. And now that it's canceled, calls will come to this extension again on this BRIA. Now, if you're ever unsure if they're forwarded or not, you can always dial star 72 and it will remove the call forwarding. Okay, lastly, we have uh, this down here, we have the contacts button. Uh, so you can see the contacts in here that we have. If you'd like to add a contact, you can click on this button, add new contact. <laughs> And under display name, you can type in the display name. So we're going to add Blue Cloud USA. And over here, we can put the telephone number, 800-2121, and we'll click Add. OK, so we've added it. We can click OK. And now we have this new user in here. So if we wanted to call them, we can click this here. Uh, we can also have favorites if you'd like, and this last one is the history, call history. So we can see who we've called. Uh, the green arrows are outgoing calls that you've made. Uh, if they're coming back and they're red, they're missed, missed calls. And we can also check down here if we'd like to see the missed calls, but we don't have any missed calls right now. Okay, and that's it for today. If you have any questions, you can always reach us at support at bluecloudusa.com. Have a wonderful day.